Welcome to the Crimson Engine. This is going to be a quick one. I was just got back from Built, the expo in the Javits Center in New York City, put on by B&H for their 50th anniversary. And I want to run over some of the technology I saw there and sort of give you a preview of gear for the next couple of months, at least until the end of the year. There wasn't anything that was absolutely mind blowing. But what I did find really surprising is how many technologies that were once, you know, $5,000, $10,000 are now $500 technologies. Tube lights, which I use a ton of, both the Nanlite and the Titan tubes, are now getting made by uh, Generay, which is the B&H store brand. And you can get uh, four foot ones for a couple hundred dollars. They had a huge, uh, you know, set built out of them. And it made me think of uh, how I work typically compared to how bigger films work in that you, I have, you know, enough lights and enough gear to shoot one scene at a time but on Hollywood sets they're, they're usually lighting and rigging the next scene or the next location when they're shooting one of them because they, they have so much gear. With much cheaper lights that still have good CRI and good uh, color rendition it means that you can you know if you're building a set build the lights into the set build them as practicals like they're doing a lot of big TV shows now and movies and just add extra light uh, to taste rather than having to light and relight each set as you go. I also got to see a couple of the, the newest generation of LEDs, the 2400 watts. So these are twice as bright as the uh, Aperture 1200D, which I reviewed. I don't see myself using them personally because you can't run them off house power. They need a very large generator or uh, the bigger plug that you only get on warehouses and, and certain facilities. So even though they're incredibly bright, uh, you're not gonna be able to power them off regular mains power. I did walk past a very cool uh, 16 millimeter workshop like film workshop where they had where they were teaching people to uh, load the magazines, operate the cameras. And while I have no strong desire to shoot on film again, uh, it was a great reminder how hard it was to shoot in the days of film and how you did all this work and had all this risk and no real clear idea of what you were shooting and how lucky we are to have screens that we can load LUTs into and actually look at our cameras and see what we're shooting as we're shooting it. The last thing I was impressed by uh, was a company called Colbor, a uh, Chinese company who are doing these very small 60 watt modular lights. So I've seen other ones similar to this, but these actually lock together. So you can use individual lights as individual light sources, they're RGB, but then they have rails on the side where you can build a mega light, sort of like a transformer out of individual lights, uh, which I think is really versatile where you can break the light apart and have a three light set up uh, for your two shot or your wide, um, then contain them all together and, and shoot them through a frame for a, for a really big soft source on your single. I'm gonna try and get hold of them from the manufacturer and, and do a review. Canon Masterclass has a ton of new content if you haven't checked it out recently. If you're looking to get the most out of your cinema camera, have detailed masterclasses as well as lighting, producing, social media tutorials. Check it out at canonmasterclass.com. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.